In this mini lesson, we will be answering the essential question, how do you get back on track with your reading when you lose your way? We have been doing some great reading during our independent reading time. You know, sometimes when I am reading, my mind starts to wander, and I find myself getting to the bottom of the page, and I can't even remember what I just read. Can any one of you relate? Today I want to teach you that when you lose track of your reading, you can stop, reread, make a note, and then continue your reading. Today your teacher will show you a magazine article, newspaper art article, or a book that he or she has been reading. Your teacher will share with you a little bit about the main idea of the text and some pictures, if possible, to pique your interest. You know, the other night when I was reading this, I found myself thinking about what I needed to get from the grocery store. When I realized that I could not remember what I had just read, I stopped, reread, made a little note in the margin about what I read, and then finished reading the section of the lesson plan. I then wrote what I needed from the grocery store on a post-it note nearby and went back to my reading. Sometimes when you're reading, you can become confused and stray away from the text. You stop doing any thinking as you are reading. No connections, no questions, and you can't remember what you just read. Maybe there are words that you don't understand. Maybe what you read began to make you start thinking of something else. Do any of these sound familiar to you? Let's add these ideas to a T-chart. One side labeled why meaning breaks down and the other fix up strategies. Now I want you as the students to think of and share other reasons meaning breaks down. Perhaps you're too tired, disinterested, stressed. It's maybe the text is too hard. There aren't any pictures or movies that are in your head while you're reading. Or maybe you cannot decode a word or several words. Your teacher is going to model with a read aloud book so you can watch how to refocus your thinking when this happens. As your teacher reads, he or she will think out loud and stop at various places to reread, read on, ask a question, make a note, or use his or her background knowledge. Then ask your students what they noticed the teacher modeling to refocus his or her thinking while reading. Once your teacher has read enough to model the fix-up strategies, add those fix-up strategies to the T-chart and any others that you may have come up with. Today the book talk is Newbery Award winning book from the mixed up files of Mrs. Basil E. Frankweiler. 11-year-old Claudio Kincaid is tired of being taken for granted. As the oldest of four children, she suffers many an injustice, and the interplay of school and home life is becoming monotonous. She decides to run away from her home in Greenwich, Connecticut, to live in the New York City Metropolitan Museum of Art. Middle brother Jamie Nine is her chosen companion, not least because he can fund their venture. By cheating his friend Bruce at card games, Jamie has accumulated more than $24, which in 1967, when this classic children's novel first appeared, was not an insignificant amount. Everything is meticulously planned. They will run away on a Wednesday music lesson day so that they can stuff their instrument cases full of clean clothes, and every day at museum opening and closing time, they will hide in the toilets while they wait for the guards to leave. Cheap meals from the snack bar or outside cafes will sustain them, and each day they will choose a different museum exhibit to learn about. At night, they can bathe in the fountain and gather up its carpet of coins to replenish their supply of money. As Claudia and Jamie settle into their new routine, the museum is abuzz with its new acquisition, a statue of an angel rumored to be by Michelangelo. It was purchased from the collection of Mrs. Basil E. Frankweiler for $225. The children find a clue that seems to confirm the statue's provenance and alert the museum officials through an anonymous letter by the situation that the, may, the situation may be more than complicated. They decide to set off for Mrs. 
Frank Weiler's home to search her files for definitive proof and, in the process, win over this prickly octogenarian with their pluck and determination. As you go to your reading spots today, I want you to be aware of when the meaning breaks down for you. Every once in a while, stop and think, what did I just read? If you can't remember, look at the anchor chart and see if you can't get yourself back on the thinking track. Also remember to stop a couple of times and make a prediction about what might happen next. Today, while you read for 30 minutes, I want you to use sticky notes for marking where and when you had to refocus your thinking to get back on track while you read. I'd love for you to jot down a note or a symbol to help you remember which fix-up strategy you use to help yourself get back into your reading. Because today's book club discussion question is, when did you have to refocus your thinking to get back on track while reading today? And as always, don't forget to record what you read today on your reading log.